It's Friday, burning more vacation time. I've gone as far as I can on this uh, Xylo project until we get some half inch plywood. So I'm going to take that one back to the shop and these bars back to the shop. And most of the snow is gone. We've got a full house today, all the Whitney's. The last storm ripped off our DIY storm window on the back. Bill Seniors fixing it. Is Billy saving water for the apocalypse? What's he doing out here? I've never been over here, but looks like we have some raised garden beds. I wonder if anyone uses these. Old sign from the Shushank factory that was on the side of the building. If we had employees, that could be the outdoor employee lounge. The building's all piecemeal together, expansion after expansion. That'll last the season. Yeah, at least the season. That upper part's not used. We got some trash to pick up. But not today. We got some more organization done. Cleaned up under the shop smith. Put that stuff away. Some brass hoops showed up. Got more of this area picked up. Drills hung on the wall. Sort of threw all the sandpaper over here, got things put in some bends, magnetic strip hung on the wall, so we're good there. Now I got this stack of hoops to sand. Fun. Is that layout on a rope drum? Uh, no, this is the rod tension. I've got these super long tube lugs. Uh, it is 17 by 17, and the guy does want it to have very much like a rope drum, like field drum kind of vibe. Uh, he just didn't want to deal with the rope. So, and then we got these cool uh, figured bubinga on the hoops, and these are, are so the heads recess up in there, which is nice because you know. These hoops are, are thinner than, than what would be on a rope drum, but once that's set on, you know, wet and set on the head, this, the, the playing surface will be only maybe slightly higher than what you're used to with like a triple flange hoop. So you still have, you know, this, this nice wood hoop that'll look good and sort of proportionally be nice, but it uh, won't go crazy high beyond the playing surface. So, you know, if you're used to drum set playing, it will still be comfortable to play. We don't do too many of these kind of rod tension field drums, but uh, every once in a while, it's fun when we get to do them, they always turn out really cool. I thought I was done until I looked up on the wall and saw the bass drum hoops. There's always more.
Bill's using a giant eraser to remove pencil marks. Yeah, these are these are cool. It's for um, cleaning up sandpaper, like for belt sanders or disc sanders or whatever, when they get loaded up with sawdust. These are awesome for cleaning those off. But uh, you can also, I mean, it's, it's just like gum rubber, so it's, it's an eraser. So when you got a lot of pencil marks on wood, if you don't want to have to sand as much, which is kind of always a goal for me, you just use this like an eraser and it works really well. I think acetone also takes it off rather quick. Yeah, that'd probably work too. It's not as fun. Yeah, I don't know. This was sitting there and I figured I'd try it. Usually I don't have this many marks on the shell, but it's a big shell. That's what she said. Yay, another hoop to sand. Last one, 10 snares, two bases. Joke's on us, because then we gotta lay them all out and drill them. That oil smells like lemon bars. It does. It's food safe, you can eat it. I might eat it. You should eat it. Probably shouldn't eat it. All right, more shop organization done. Parents came to visit. More hoop sanding. You laid out, drilled, and oiled a 17 by 17 snare. Yep. You want to tell us about these fancy brass hoops? Oh yeah, we got these, uh, this company in Turkey does this bronze, B20 bronze, the same stuff your symbols are made out of, um, mostly. These bronze hoops, they do shells too. These are weigh a freaking ton. They came in this ridiculous wooden crate uh, from Turkey. There's finishing work that needs to still be done. But other than that, these are really cool. Um, and they're ridiculously heavy. So that's going to be pretty awesome on a stave snare for our buddy Josh Orlando, so that's pretty cool. We cut some test pieces of veneer to send off to our friends at Woodshed. They're gonna do some uh, printing, like direct to veneer printing uh, for us, which is a pretty cool thing that we haven't experimented with yet, but I think that's gonna be pretty cool. So we sent some wood to them for some test prints. So tomorrow's gym on the mill, layout hoops, drill hoops, sand hoops, maybe veneer some bases. Here's hoping. Here's hoping.